Howdy Ads. Welcome back to the fourth edition of 12th Man Perspective, The Student Show. I'm Kayla Mauser. And I'm Jeff Totes. Our first feature takes you over to Reed Arena, where we caught up with Aggie basketball star Alex Caruso to tell us about this upcoming season. Howdy, my name is Alex Grassi and we're here at Reed Arena to get the inside scoop on Alex Caruso and hopefully have him demonstrate one of his famous moves, which is the fast break into a dunk. Being from College Station, what made you want to come to A&M? Uh, well, really, it's just because I've, I've been an Aggie for as long as I can remember, and I just remember growing up watching the Aggie basketball teams, and I really, I really enjoyed watching them, and I, I wanted to be a part of it. Besides basketball, what are your other skills? I'm a ping pong expert. I actually have a couple friends that watch this video. They think they can beat me. They can't. I'm the best. So one of the crowd's favorite things to see is watching the alley-oop into the dunk, so we were wondering if you could show us how you do it. Yeah, I think I can do that. Take eight. Future of Alex with Alex, and until our next lesson, I'm Alex Gracia, and thanks and gig em. In honor of our last home game here at Kyle Field before the expansion, we want to take a look back at all of our memories here at Kyle Field. My name is Amanda Martindale, class of 2016. I'm Alex Morrell, class of 2015. Howdy, my name's Joseph Wade, I'm a senior, uh, class of 14. 12th Man TV went out onto campus and talked to students about their favorite memories at Kyle Field. Lights went out, but people kept playing. The stadium just got louder and louder. It was probably my favorite game ever. And I just remember, like, oh my gosh, this is huge. Like, this is a big deal. This is where game day happens, and it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and we beat them 9-6, to six, and we played amazing defense. Definitely wrecking crew out there. My first football game as a freshman. I was an out-of-state kid, never been to an Aggie game before. Everything just blew me away. So we were in the end zone, and we got to see it completely packed. And it was just great to be an Aggie. <laughs> Regarded as one of the nation's most intimidating road venues, Texas A&M's Kyle Field has been the home of the Aggie football team since 1905. Kyle Field has undergone several changes in its long history. The permanent seating on the east and west sides of Kyle Field were added in 1927, and the horseshoe was completed in 1929. The stadium was expanded in 1967 to include two decks of grandstands, and the third decks were added to the east and west sides in 1980. Then, in 1999, the formation of the Bernard C. Richardson Zone raised Kyle Field's capacity to 82,589, making it the 13th largest college football stadium in the nation at the time. And now, in 2013, we are expanding again with a $450 million renovation, which will bring seating capacity to 102,500, allowing more Aggies to come to Kyle Field and cheer on their team. We're saying goodbye to this chapter of Kyle Field's history, but the memories will always be there. Kyle Field, though different, will maintain the same spirit of the 12th man. You can watch a live stream of the redevelopment on kylefield.com, as well as look at archived footage since construction began last week. Also, stay up to date with all things Kyle Field and all things Aggie Athletics on aggieathletics.com. Next, we're gonna take a look at the plays of the week from Aggie Athletics. Our first top play comes from volleyball, where Jasmine Babers emphatically throws it down for the kill. Down! That was just a gimme. On Friday, the basketball team took on Buffalo at Reed Arena. Alex Caruso throws the ball behind his back off the glass in transition and gets the and one. Finally, Johnny Manziel and the football team took on Mississippi State on Saturday. Johnny turned on the spin cycle and cleaned up this play by completing it to Darrell Walker. Smith, but there's no defense for this. No. How do you defend this? This is just straight up textbook scramble drill. And stay tuned for our next episode of 12th Man Perspective, The Student Show. And here's our upcoming schedule for Aggie Athletics.